What's going on? It's been a long time. I'm uh, I'm gonna hop back on here after a long stint with two, not one, two box openings. I don't usually do box openings because I kind of look at it as kind of bragging, but uh, I'm really excited about these. Uh, Got this one here. See if we can see that. Where that's from. What? I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a long time since I've been on here. Just living the life. Got married in November. Decided to play that game all over again. And uh, spent a week in Key Largo with my new wife. Went through Christmas and New Year's, waiting for springtime. All right, this is the four. Now, I attempted to get this from Dagner's site, but he was sold out of them, so I had to, I had to find another place that had these which ends up being uh, TobaccoPipes.com and yes, yes, yes sir I think that's it that's it for that one so put this box away do a Peterson first I love me a Peterson the quality and the craftsmanship is fantastic I've got one other Peterson I don't really smoke it that often sniff test smells like a brand new pipe but What? That is gorgeous. See if we can get it to focus on it. Anyway. Man, that's nice. It does not have the P-lip, though. That's a little disappointing. But that's all right. It's got the P on it. I would be smoking a pipe for this. But... The old lady don't let me smoke in the house, which is fine. But that's what I got right there. Man, that's nice. No imperfections that I see. Beautiful. Nice Celtic band. Can you see that? I don't know if it'll focus or not. Yes, uh, I'm Scottish, but uh, I guess we're Irish through Scotland area, something like that. So, always rock with the Irish lineage. Got to support them. So, yes, I uh, got that. Keep that out for a second, actually. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I, uh, I keep in touch with a few of you. you all you guys know that, but uh, but I'm always watching. So if you're putting videos out, I'm seeing them. I don't really tend to comment very often. It's just not my thing. But I do support you with a view and a thumbs up. We got that one there. I'm gonna do this next because I've really been looking forward to this. Eric. Stackaby, fourth generation.
a cheap uh, tobacco lighter and I, I, it, it, it's it, it's hell to keep fluid in it and I think it's just a dirty tip so I'm gonna fill this up let that sit All right, now I was really ex I'm really excited about this pipe coming up because I like like I'm as much of a collector of pipes, probably more of a collector of pipes as I am of a smoker of pipes. I do enjoy them, but I actually smoke more cigars than I do pipes um, because I uh, will grab me some bourbon or some cognac or some brandy and I will smoke a cigar. But, uh, I just love the artistry of a pipe. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that shit. Beautiful. Now, I've got Dagner's, uh, what is that? The, the other green one. I think that's his, uh. Is that a St. Patrick's Day pipe? Or it's the uh, 2016... No, it's the 2016 uh, World Day of Tobacco. or what do we, I don't know. It's the green one. And then I got... Hold on. I'll be right back. So... The first one I got from Dagner was the poker when they first came out and I do these things are great I love these little pipes for walking around because they fit perfectly in your pocket then I got that one that one's a, a brown one and of course every once in a while I do like the Rhodesian so I got the Rhodesian but then I picked up that one which is a fucking gorgeous pipe I love it's it's a little heavy for me but I got big hands, so it sits nice, and it sits perfect on the chin. That's a fantastic pipe. I'm glad I was able to pick that up. And uh, then I picked that one up just a couple months ago because it just looks cool. I haven't smoked anything out of this yet, but I plan on it very soon when the weather breaks and I can sit outside. Because I love a, I love a long stem like that. You know, I, I like the church warden style. And I make my own from time to time. I'm in the process of making my own uh, Dublin right now, just because I can. It's not the quality of these pipes, but I enjoy it. But then I picked up that big boy right there. I love this thing. I like I like this design right here, and the colors. I love the colors. It's fantastic. Love this thing. Can you see that? Probably not. Anyway, that's that. Now, on to the other one, which I was equally as excited because I wasn't I wasn't get I wasn't ready to buy these, but it came up to be a little bit of a emergency purchase because it was the last one and I'm sure more are coming, but I wanted a first run type situation, and I didn't expect them to be gone that fast, so I had to buy it. I have the, the inside scoop with a direct line to the man himself, who is a close friend and a wonderful individual. One of the nicest people I've ever met, actually. I wish we lived closer so we could actually hang out, spend some time together, because he's probably one of the truest dudes I know. 
and I've only seen them in person two separate times. Once when we were on the East Coast Pipe Tour, and we went and saw Hackard, Mr. Well, I didn't go to see Hackard. I went, I went up to uh, Mark Bulkovic's house with him, and then I saw him one time after that. But either way, he's a great dude. Honest. He's like I call it old school. Him and him and Jason both are are, are old school dudes. They tell you they're going to do something, they do it. And they don't bullshit you. And this is why I have absolutely no problem supporting either one of these men. Because they're real guys. Oh, oh, he hooked a brother up. This is the best shit on the planet right here. My God. That espresso right there. That's, you know what? I think I'm going to do a video on how I prepare his coffee. Because I've got like five pounds of his coffee. I go and I get it and then I uh, I grind it all up and keep it in sealed canisters because my well my grinder makes an enormous amount of fucking noise. But oh, hooked a brother up. What? So either way, it's just easier for me because I don't have a whole lot of time. I just grind it all up at one time and then put it in sealed canisters. That way it stays fresh. And I go through it fast enough to where it doesn't go bad. So I've got the house brand, I've got Colombian, I've got the Brazilian uh, decaf, and then I've got the espresso. And I'm going to tell you what, I've become, my mother-in-law made me a complete coffee snob. I used to be a, uh, a type of guy that, Folgers, I'm, I was good with Folgers every morning. And my mother-in-law, who was born in Italy, only drinks espresso told me how Europeans think American coffee is dirt water. And I was slightly offended at that. But then she told me why and turned me on to her style of call, what they call coffee. We call espresso. And uh, I'm going to tell you what. Shortly after that, my man Salam started selling his coffee bean. And that is on point. I am here to tell you right now the 70 or 80 people that are going to see this. If you want good coffee, learn how to grind your bean and go get some house blend or some of the Brazilian or the Colombian. The house blend, if you're not a coffee snob like me and you don't like it real strong or real flavorful and you're good with your Folgers or your Maxwell House or what have you, your, your what do they call that, your 8 o'clock or whatever the other canned brands are, start off with the house blend and grind it up and learn how to use a French press. That shit is the bomb. And I hate using that term, but it is. So anyway, sorry I got off on a ramble. Here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Love it. I'm recording this on my damn phone because my camera is just too much work. My God, that's gorgeous. I have to say, it is a little smaller than I anticipated, but that's okay. I dig it, man. God, that's gorgeous. Oh, man. It is a little smaller, but that's okay. I love it. That is a gorgeous piece of wood right there. You keep it compared here. I've got my, uh, I got the OG Dublin, and uh, these are the other two I have by, from Salam. These things, this got ash and shit in it. These, I love. I only smoked a few out of these. I don't really, with the weather bad, it's no good. I can't go outside and smoke. But that's size comparison, if you're thinking about getting one. These are a little bit thicker, a little bit beefier. But that, man, that's gorgeous. That is, actually, you know what? Here is... It is damn near the same size as Dagner's poker. Damn near the same size. Almost, it's a little bit taller than Dagner's pipe. The shank is about the same size, but it's got a different mouthpiece. So, if you have one of those, 
It's about the same size. Man, this thing is nice. Beautiful, beautiful. And then, of course, because, again, I'm a collector, I had to get the matching. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, that is the same size as the OG. Damn near the same pipe but with a little cleaner lines, a little shinier. Well, that one's probably been rubbed off. I don't, I don't remember if that was that shiny when I first got it, but that is what I'm talking about. Man, that's sweet. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh. Yes, sir. So those are my my pipe openings, my box openings. Love it, love it. I wonder if this thing works. Yes, sir. Love it. Wonder if I can turn it up a little bit. All right, well, I'm not going to bother you with all that. But I figured I'd do a box opening. The uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I would find it hard to believe that by now, if you're watching my video and you don't know who OMS pipes are, get out from underneath your rock and look them up, OMSpipes.com. Uh, he's a great dude. He's real. He's not one of these fake motherfuckers you see out here on the street. And uh, he will treat you right. And he provides a product unlike anything else. Uh, I speak from experience. I got four of his pipes right here. And I drink the shit out of his coffee. His coffee is by far better than Starbucks, better than um, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, it all I'm telling you right now, it's, it's worth the money to buy that bean, go get you a grinder, you can get a manual grinder, they're cheap as shit, you can get an automatic grinder, I've got one where I just fill the top of it up, hit a button and it just grinds, I can set the, the, the coarseness, the fineness, the, all of that, and then get a French press, you can get one for like 15, 20 bucks, and I'm going to tell you what, you will, if you're a coffee connoisseur, or you just love your coffee, you need to hook this this guy up and, and have him send you some coffee out. Uh, for Mr. Dagner, Jason's a good dude. I, I had the, the esteem, esteemed pleasure of uh, meeting him on the East Coast Pipe Tour and then spending some time with him when I went down to Bike Week in Daytona. He showed me around and, and treated me with nothing but respect and love. He's uh, hosted me for dinner and uh, been a real real stand-up dude i've dealt with him several times i've got two four six of his pipes i've got you know i support my friends and people that that, that are real i wouldn't give my money to anybody just because i know them because believe me there's a lot of dudes out there i wouldn't even think about giving them my money but either way that's it that's my box opening i don't tend to do them but there it is go check out dagner pipes and OMS Pipes, two of the nicest gentlemen, two of the truest men I've ever met. And it's uh, if you're going to give somebody your money, those are the ones to do it. I speak from experience, not only on a personal side, but on a business side. So uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to other people. Peace.